Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Moonlight Whispers, a Japanese drama romance hybrid from 1999 that was directed by Akihiko Shiota. Now, after reviewing Harmful Insect recently, I realized that a few of Shiota's movies are currently available streaming on YouTube, so I wanted to review this one as well. Now, check out this plot synopsis. Satsuki and Takuya are high school students who meet at kendo practice, where they bash one another with wooden swords. They begin an awkward romance, but Takuya soon reveals a masochistic side to his desires. He has been stealing Satsuki's soiled clothing, we'll put it that way, and secretly surveilling her while imagining her subjuca uh, subjugation of him. Disgusted, Satsuki rejects him. But he persists, and she discovers her own pleasure in manipulating and humiliating him. So these two teenagers develop a sadomasochistic relationship. Now the opening half hour plays out mostly like a typical teen romance. They even have that cliche, heartwarming bicycle ride in the countryside. But gradually, the sadomasochistic elements begin to manifest in a surprisingly realistic manner. And that's when things get really interesting. Now, this is not like S&M, like Ichi the Killer or something like that. There's no graphic violence. Uh, the characters are not nearly as outlandish as that film. It's also not like leather whips and bondage, you know, either. So there is some physicality involved as well as a few sex scenes, but it's almost entirely psychological, really. The psychology is first and foremost here. So their display of their like obsessions and control and domination and humiliation is almost always portrayed emotionally. And I would even describe Moonlight Whispers as a classy film in its dramatic intensity, even though the premise and specific scenes can get to be on the perverted side. I think that's a big positive because it feels more like a mature handling of the subject matter. And the realistic development of the relationship as well as their, you know, like, individual self-awareness is pretty impressive, I think. And maybe those relationships, in reality, may have developed under similar circumstances, as is shown in the film. Now, there is a high amount of erotic tension that drives the movie from beginning to end. It's almost uncomfortable to watch at times, because it's the intensities there, you know what I mean? And even though they casted actors who were in their early 20s at the time of filming, they look convincingly like teenagers. At least to me, they did. Performances are good, and Kenji Mizuhashi has had a prolific career after making this film. He has 124 acting credits on IMDb. So I think you know, that's all I want to say about this one, because uh, I think this one is, needs to be experienced and I think Moonlight Whispers is an interesting flick. If the premise sounds even remotely interesting to you, definitely check it out. In terms of availability, the DVD is like out of print and super expensive, so that's not really an option. But fortunately, it is available on YouTube with subtitles. So if you've seen this one, let me know what you think. Or if you end up watching it, let me know what you think. I think it's, uh, it's kind of a hidden gem. It's a good one. And as always... I will see you next time.